Hello everyone, welcome to bimodeler.com. In this video tutorial, uh, we will be discussing about how to create a socket family uh, because this is one of the basic family for electricals. Uh, we will be discussing about that and also we will be discussing how to create a 2D annotation family uh, for the rivet. So uh, with that, let's start the tutorial. So uh, let's start with new family new family and as we are discussing so like it's a socket so we have to be placed on the wall so it is going to be a, a face based family you can directly take a template electrical fixtures uh, if you have and if you see that uh, it doesn't have any uh, faces uh, we have only ceiling or uh, wall based element so i'm going to take the generic face based family and i'll be going to convert that generic into a uh, electrical fixture family like this once it is done save the family and make sure that it is uh, not disturbed in the later time so let me save this family this socket let me say twin and socket okay so i'll be uh, using the uh, my sample uh, file sizes which is available with me uh, you can if you know the box i had dimensions you can take it uh, in my case i'll be starting with uh, the image that i have so before that make sure that you are setting up uh, the plan rightly so you know that we have to draw it in this place so insert the image directly in this place once you're inserting so you'll be able to see the image use the scale option and scale it properly like this first point and the second point and it is going to be 143.5 and place them into the location like this so we're going to draw the front view in the exact center position if you see the center line i'm trying to align that center line with the center line using the arrows once it is done that's it and we can go ahead and do the constraint settings like we are not going to make this as a parametric but even though uh, for aligning purpose we may have to uh, have them in a proper way so i like to place some constraints like this or the reference plane and use the mirror icon and you'll be able to mirror them to the other side create similar to be cs or create reference plane use the mirror icon again to the other side so since it's an image so we'll be not having the more accuracy so let me make this as five and we can make this uh, it's already equal constraint and make the dimension and to see it the other side as well you know we are doing it in the origin position so when you are placing this family into the project so when you're giving a zero in the elevation value the center place will be uh, placed in the right place so you have to remember that um, it will take the uh, origin from the center so the offset value will be calculated from the center of the position like in this place so i'm going to make a, a simple extrude in this place like this and i may need the radius maybe say five millimeter let me try five millimeter how it comes and i think I, uh, it's enough to have it and let's go ahead with five millimeter 
and extrude will be thickness will be say uh, uh, if you see that the 25 millimeter itself uh, it's projecting inside and outside so I would say um, like 20 millimeter will be out uh, inside and uh, 5 millimeter will be outside so I can say like this you see how it appears in the projection go to the front view and look at the family it's it's taking the 5 millimeter on the other side let me take 25 or minus 20 and 5 and we need to have one reference plane on the top side so that we'll be able to understand or constrain the position create similar uh, and i'm not going to create any void shapes uh, this is not going to cut our walls if you need uh, if you see that uh, as a mep persons we will be working with the linked models so we may maybe or may not be able to uh, have the voids in the place right place so going ahead with the plan so if you see that the simple geometry which is created i'll be able to create other geometries like this triangle shapes i don't need uh, holes in this place but just a simple uh, twin circuit representation i'll be having the radius of 0.5 millimeter let's try whether it will be possible to create give it some time it will not accept okay we would have the limitation of 0 0.7 millimeter and in this place i'll be using the trim and extend command tr and before that i will be splitting this line trim and extend like this and i'm going to use tab key and i'll be or mirroring together to the right once it is done finish so you know that uh, it's going to extend from the zero to the outside if you see it in 3d like this and it's all the way coming from the face like this now what i can do is i can save um 5 to 20 instead of 5 to 20 i can say 5 to 1 millimeter so it will be very small in size if i try 0 0.1 and i will try to edit the face set the work plane set the plane to the front side and finish it now if you see that i will have one millimeter from the face of this plate i like to have a, a void so create void extrusion and i'll be creating a couple of squares Like this once you have done so select it and mirror it to the other side and finish it you can check in 3d so the extrusions will happen the to the inner and as well as outer if you need to cut the inside you can use the cut icon again and you will be able to cut it inside plate also if it extends cut and you will be able to cut it so that's it the 3d model will be uh, simple and you will be able to select them and you will be able to give a material to that look for material and 
I will be able to save this once. Going to the floor plan and uh, if you see that we don't need uh, this images anymore, I can delete it because this image is not going to visible in the view. Uh, let me save this. The second thing is that we have to make uh, uh, annotation family which is file new family or uh, you, you can go ahead like file new annotation symbol uh, like this and it will directly take you to the uh, the folder locations so I'm going to take matrix generic annotation and as you know that based on your country specific you will have uh, duplex or twin symbols and I'm going to make this here as a uh, Europe based symbols here so we will be having the in under the create so you will have a different interface here so you'll be having the lines and uh, uh, other objects. We may have to discuss this generic annotation separately, but for this easy case, I'll be drawing here the symbol. So this is the origin of the place. So always it is better to draw it uh, the shape size maximum from like minimum two millimeter to uh, five millimeter so that these annotation symbols will change in scale based on your um, sizes so let's say for example in this case I would say uh, 3.5 millimeter and I'll be creating a line like this so 3.5 plus 3.5 should not be 3 together what I'm saying is together let's say 2 So 2 radius plus 1.5 will work, I think. And I'll be taking the one line here. I'll be using the trim and extend command. Like this. So once it is done, this is done. We have to mention the text value as 2. Instead of showing text value, we have the option to change it later time if you want to use this for uh, multi-port also or any other annotations you can do it uh, simply by giving a parameter label so i have a different tutorial to define that what is the family parameter shared parameter and their uses so in this case i'm just uh, going ahead with the simple options i will i will give a link in the top side so let me go ahead and change this as text value and select OK add into the list and I like to keep this text value as uh, minimum as possible like sample value will be 2 and text value I like to change this into say 2.5 or 1.5 And I'll keep it like this okay so this rep represents the uh, twin circuit if you need uh, or any other symbols you can make it in the same way uh, you can save this family as um, twin same name with this symbol of underneath the underscore symbol Once it is done, you can load this into the our family, existing family, twin and switched. And you have to place this in the plan view like this in the center. And you will be able to assign the parameter value as 2 and it will ask S yes because it's a type parameter. And uh, uh, the thing is that if you want to view this, that's an important point. If you want to see that since we are placing it in the front view, if you want to see that in the plan view, uh, you have to tick this option that is very much important, uh, which is called uh, maintain annotation orientation. So this is important that you have to keep tick 
always so take this and we will have the symbol and if i change this uh, scale value it will reflect based on the scale value as we discussed earlier uh, this is how we'll be able to make uh, annotation symbol so once it is done make sure that you are locking with this reference plane like this lock and save the family once again load this into the project and try to place them wherever you need uh, by using the trial and error method, method you will be able to understand that so if you see our family which is uh, got placed but the 2d symbol and 3d symbol showing together so we have to go back and use the visibility graphics to control them for example the 2d symbol will show only in plan view and which is only in show only in force and medium options uh, it will not show in the fine option and in 3d objects like these objects and i can use the filter i'll be filtering only the solid object there are two elements the visibility graphics option so it will not visible in the plan view but it will visible in the other views and it will be it will not be visible in the cores and medium and it will be visible in the fine view uh, the opposite to this 2d symbol so select it and load this into the project over at the uh, existing version in this place sorry load this into the project and over at the, the existing version now if you see that our 3d symbol will not be visible since we are in the fine medium also not visible fine so the 2d symbol will be visible make it medium so it will be visible so based on your requirement you can uh, place them wherever you need it so let's let's go to uh, 3d and see it so how it, it will be visible and in the 3d so this is how it appears in 3d and uh, whatever the aim that we tried so we have created the third important point is that uh, we have to create the uh, power systems for the uh, electrical fixture since our family is electrical fixtures we have to create the connector electrical connector to the any side you can place it any side like the bottom side um, you can place it and you can select the connector and you have the option to select any options uh, it's a single phase so it's unbalanced option here single pole lagging the cloud classification will be uh, a socket actually uh, or you can say it power at the moment you can create the uh, your own classification and assign it let's let it be as power and we have to discuss this for classification separately uh, let's say voltage will be 230 and the watts will be 180 and we must assign these parameter for our future uses and voltage And if you need, uh, you can assign the pole, number of poles, and the uh, load classification as well. It's a parameter to utilize in the project. So that's it. We have completely created our uh, Revit family socket, and we can load this into the project and override the existing version in parameter. Now, if you select, you'll have the connector option, and you will have the power option on the top. so that's it uh, um, i look forward to see you on the next tutorial uh, uh, keep learning uh, if you have any questions you can leave your comment i will be able to answer it as separate tutorials uh, take care bye, -bye. happy learning